I'd rather be in some dark holler where the sun don't ever shine for to be here alone knowing that you're gone cause me to lose my mind so blow your whistle freight train take me far be in some dark holler where the sun don't ever shine then I'd be in some big city in a small room with a girl on my mind so blow your wheels a freight train take me far on down the track So that was Dark Holler, or Dark Hollow, which was the first song you taught me on guitar, on this guitar, yep. that I got a couple years ago, because um, you're my dad. <laughs> uh, I'm starting up this hopefully monthly video series called Just Do It, um, and I'm really happy that I get to have my dad be the, the first duet partner on on the track or on the on the show it's pretty fun yeah yeah i tortured you by uh <laughs> by forcing you to sit in front of all these microphones and cameras and play but you sound good I, and i made you play mandolin too so there wouldn't be such a huge contrast between the massive difference in quality of your playing especially on guitar because you've been playing since you were uh, about 18 i guess all right so we're not gonna be rude and give out your current age, but it's a while. Right. It's been a, it's been a bit. You you've got some experience. It's got some serious guitar time under your belt. Um, but you're I mean we're here in Nashville right now, but you're up in Massachusetts and you're not playing guitar professionally or mandolin. You um, run a meditation center and psychology practice, right? Yep, that's right. That's pretty cool. Yep. Does, does the mandolin come this into it? This is my it? hobby. This is your hobby. This is, I don't this, know. You're awful good for a hobbyist. Reduction. This is your. <laughs> The meditation is now the source of the stress <laughs> at this point. <laughs> no, but uh, no. What's the name you had? Um, your company was Cape Ann Mindfulness Practice, but you just expanded to a new building, right, in mm -hmm. a new town. So and you're renaming it. It's going to be the Center for uh, Mindfulness and Insight Meditation. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hopefully, next time I'm home, I'll uh, I'll actually get to see it because I saw the new building and it was like partially done. And you know the song because the Grateful Dead, right? Or did you know it before? Yeah, I think I first heard it through them because yeah. I wasn't really into bluegrass to begin with when I was a teenager. But and, you know, <laughs> not a terrible the lot dead, of the Dead introduced me to it because they were <laughs> they started out as a bluegrass band, really. That's true. Yeah. No, you were. I think I remember you telling me about um, traveling to see them play a show in Northern California and getting there and finding out the show was canceled. After driving up the coast right. from SoCal, uh, so yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, it's it's there's not a lot of teenagers necessarily that are super into bluegrass and even back in back in the day. That's right. <laughs> Go dead. Yeah, gotta love the dead. You gotta love the dead. Do you have any of the Jerry Garcia ties? Um, 
I don't think so. You don't think so? You would know. <laughs> Come on. You're the biggest deadhead I know. Mm -hmm. you're, the only, you're the only deadhead I know. So. Well, thank you for letting me torture you. Yeah, it's fun. And Anytime. I love jamming with you. Mm -hmm. I, and I know it adds a lot of pressure with mics and cameras, but I had fun. Yeah, I had fun too. <laughs> <laughs> great to see you playing. Oh, good to see you. I love seeing you play and hearing you play. Well, I'll let you. I'll release you into the wilds of Nashville. All right. Thanks All right. for listening.